you burned for that song. And once again, that was to honor our veterans, the warriors, people that fought for this country and defended our ability to carry on our culture and our traditions like we are tonight. So we want to thank those veterans. As a way of showing appreciation for the honor song, uh, the drum group Burn, uh, come on up and receive some money from Mike Weasel. Uh, we appreciate uh, you doing the honor song, you know, for our veterans. in behind you there <laughs> we'll move down over that way a little bit <clears throat> I'm just gonna move it over this way okay, cool. <sighs> Let's see. you put that in behind the chair there for me
All right, uh, folks, I just want to say that the uh, final sales uh, is going around right now for the 50 50. So, final sales going around for 50 50 if you want to jump in on that. Okay, uh, we got one over in the far corner there, uh, White Eagle. Uh, Blenda. And also in the middle. We had a request from a rather large contingent of the La Fountain family, many of whom have traveled up here from the state of Kansas to attend this round dance and have a family reunion. So uh, we'd like to have the, the drum uh, do a round dance song special for the La Fountain family. So you, you, you La Fountains, Bob, John, you guys got your clan ready? All right, the drum's ready, the fountains are ready, let's round dance. Yeehaw! <laughs>
about drug and alcohol prevention. That's the message we want to get across and use our culture in a good way to promote, uh, especially among our younger people, to try to stay away from drinking, drugs, and even alcohol and tobacco. So we appreciate you turning out here and listening to the message. And any of those that have not filled out the survey, we'll get around to you.
we raised $49 here and on the 50-50, and uh, half of that would be $24.50. So I'm almost going to pick uh, the lucky card. The winner is a six of diamonds. Come and get your, come and get your, uh, come and get your twenty-four fifty. Six of diamonds. He's from uh, Kansas City, Missouri, or yeah, he's from Missouri, and he donated it back to the uh, back to the sponsors. Thank you very much. Well, we'll be going around with another uh, another deck, so the girls will be coming around again. Also, uh, you know, this young man, Anthony Johnson. Uh, he's like a. A number of our people that are scattered around the country, doesn't matter what tribe you are, uh, somehow uh, your family gets located far away from the tribal homelands, and you end up a lot of times in a big city, and you, you try to keep that connection alive, and if you're one of the younger people, uh, you, you have a lot of questions in your mind about uh, your family, your culture, your history, and those young people that, that want to know who they are and try to reconnect, I think are always to be applauded and appreciated for their uh, wanting to stay in touch with their people. Uh, this young man drove up here. I asked him earlier, I said, uh, so where are you from? And he said, Kansas. I said, where do you live? Kansas. I said, well, what brings you up here? He said he was on the, he was looking on the internet. He was trying to find out more about his Chippewa people from up here because he's a McGillis. And we know that there's a lot of McGillises in our tribe. And he said that he saw this on uh, the website that we were having a round dance. And believe it or not, this guy drove all the way up here just for a round dance. <laughs> and, and so he, uh, you know, we're, we're, you know, anybody that wants to know anything about McGillises, if you know any McGillises related to him, be sure to, you know, introduce yourself, shake his hand. And uh, he also wants to make a a donation to uh, the drum appreciates uh, the singing they're doing. So, Burn, we have some more money for you. We're here. Come on up and meet this guy, Anthony Johnson.
quick announcement here. Uh, if everybody uh, saw the flyers that we uh, put out over the last month, uh, one of the guest speakers that we were going to have uh, come and speak was uh, my cousin up in Fort Peck, uh, Chauncey Whitwright. And uh, his motto is uh, peace through unity. And if you look at some of the displays that we got over here on the table, uh, typically the last three years we've done a unity walk and a round dance uh, in the month of May here in Great Falls. Uh, one of the reasons uh, Chauncey wanted to come was last time we had a uh, round dance, uh, we had to close at uh, 11 o'clock in town here. And I remember Vidal Stump came up and uh, was disappointed that we were closing so early because on the res you, know, you can round dance all night. But he said if you guys would work together and if you guys would come together with unity, uh, you guys can get a cultural center here in Great Falls. And, but uh, I want to echo some words from Chauncey. Uh, Chauncey's uh, going to be promoting uh, uh, Sunrise uh, Pipe Ceremony at the Little Bighorn Battlefield on uh, June 24, 25th, and 26th. There will be more coming out on that. And if any of you guys want to have never been up there, that's uh, a good place to go to honor our fallen warriors that fought in the Battle of the Little Bighorn. Uh, and check out the memorial that they're still trying to complete up there. So, in uh, Chauncey's words, uh, I just want to say uh, peace through unity on a wing and a prayer. I hope.
Okay, uh, if I may have your attention one more time here. Uh, at this time, I'd like to have, uh, have a moment of silence for my uh, brother-in-law, Thane Gopher. Uh, Jake. Uh, he's a, he's a, been a well-known uh, traditional man, uh, singer at a sun dance, uh, singer of round dances, uh, singer of powwows, was part of the Loud Thunder drum group, and a very knowledgeable uh, person uh, in regards to history, and I mean all kinds of history. So all through the night we're going to be burning sage and sweetgrass, praying for Thane and for his well-being. He's out there fighting for his life in Kalispell, Montana. So uh, I'd like to have a moment of a silence for my uh, wife's brother, my brother-in-law, uh, all of our friends uh, for, for Thane. Thank you. I hope. Thank you, and uh, my wife asked uh, that Vern, whenever you're ready, uh, if you'd want to sing a, a round dance song in honor of uh, Thane. Uh, that was his favorite kind of music, so I encourage everybody to come up. Please, uh, let's uh, let's dance one for uh, Thane Gopher. Oh. <laughs>
Come on, folks. <laughs> That way every now and then, a couple times a year, yep. uh, Belgrade there to get the stock car racing there. Yeah, I like it down there. You know, it's been there for like five years. In fact, probably if it wasn't raining tonight, there'd been a rough decision coming here. Or stock car. Uh, they have no boat here this weekend. They have no Belgrade this weekend? No, here. Oh, okay. I think Belgrade is starting. Okay, uh, on Jackie. Special request uh, on Jackie. Uh, your cousin is going to sing a birthday song for you, so uh, please stand up, uh, cousin Jackie. Okay, that's, uh, that's the birthday girl. Happy birthday, Jackie. 